the birds hushed their singing. The angels in heaven stood in stunned amazement as the creator, the very son of God, slumped and died. Pandemonium broke loose in hell. They started having a party. Oh, it broke loose. They said, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. All right, y'all acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all old enough to know where I'm coming from. We don't need no water. Y'all can't say the rest of it in church. Hey, Amen. They, 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 there was a party over here, but once again, death began to feel a tremor of fear as he pondered one of Jesus' last words when he said, if you destroy this temple in three days, I'll raise it up again. And, and see, death understood what, what, what the scribes and Pharisees didn't understand, that he wasn't talking about the physical temple. He was talking about if you destroy this temple of the Holy Spirit, if you destroy this temple, this body that God gave me in three days, I'll raise it back up again. And Satan told death, I need you to watch him well. Keep him. Just keep them three days, and his kingdom is yours. Day one, Friday, everything was all right. They were partying, doing the Laffy Taffy and the Rump Shaker. Come on, y'all. I need to go back a little bit for some of y'all. They were doing the cabbage. Oh, Lord, help me in here. They, 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 they were getting busy. They were electric sliding and all kinds of line dancing up in there. They, they, they were having themselves a good old time. Day two, everything was going well. They kept on partying. Oh, yeah, they were acting crazy. Uh-huh, they say, hey, I just feeling good. Don't blame, blame it on the goose. Blame it on the henny. Y'all looking at me funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were having a good old time on day number two. But day three, death felt a little faint. And then something happened. This is the day that death got sick. Day three is the day that death's health took a turn for the worse. Day three is the day that death finally died. Where you going, Brother Swan? Well, since we're here at death's funeral, I looked for some folk to talk about death. Because when you have a funeral, you usually have folks say some words like Peter and Martha and the blind man back there that talked about Jesus a little earlier today. I looked for some folk, but everybody who knew death was dead. Y'all to get that when you go home. <laughs> and, and they couldn't say any word. But I found a few folk who could testify about their experience with death. They couldn't be here today, but they wrote me some letters. And they wanted to tell me what they knew about death. And so there was this little boy who wrote a letter and said, Pastor, my mother told me that Elijah was a great prophet and and that he was sent by God to her and told her when, when she was running out of flour and out of oil that God would provide for her and for me, her son, if she would only make him something to eat first. And, and mama told me that God miraculously replenished the flour and the oil in her container so she could provide for us and Elijah. But then she told me that I got sick. And that's when I met death. He came to get me when I was just a little boy. But mama said that Elijah went up to my room in the loft and he laid himself over my body three times and then prayed that God would allow my soul to come back into me and I was raised from the dead. You see, I knew death, but I only knew death for a little while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got this other letter. Uh, from a boy from Shunem. Mm -hmm. he, he said, uh, my mama was the Shunemite woman. I 
knew Elijah's successor, Elisha. He stayed in Shunem with my mama and my father whenever he passed through our town. In fact, my parents built an extra room in their house for Elisha to use. And Elisha wanted to give my mother something for her hospitality. So he promised that she would have a son in a year's time. And she did have a son. And when I was a boy, I was out harvesting with my daddy when I got a terrible headache. So my daddy sent me home and my mother held me in her arms. And as mama held me in her arms, death showed up and snatched me out of my mama's arms. And my mama put me on Elisha's bed and went to get Elisha. And when Elisha showed up, he prayed. And he laid himself over my body. And I came back to life. You see, pastor, I knew death, but I only knew death for a little while. And then there was another man uh, who wrote me a letter. He said, you can see my story in 1 Kings, the 13th chapter. He said, I died one day. And as people were about to bury me, they saw a band of raiders coming. So they simply threw my body into Elisha's tomb. And when my corpse touched Elisha's bones I got up I knew death but I only knew death for a little while and then there was this other boy who wrote a letter he said my mama was a widow from a place called Nain I met death one day and on my way to my grave Jesus stopped my funeral procession yeah, they were carrying my casket to the cemetery and Jesus had compassion on my weeping mother and he told her to stop crying and then he raised me from the dead. I knew death, but I didn't know death all that long, Pastor. Then there was a young lady who wrote me a letter and said, Pastor, uh, my daddy's name was Jairus and he asked Jesus to come to heal me because I was dying. But by the time he got to my house, death had already come and took me away. And Jesus sent the mourners out of my room and, and he said some strange words to me. He said, Talitha Kum, which meant little girl, I say unto you, get up. And so I got up. I, I knew death, but I didn't know death that long. Uh -huh. Then I got a letter from another uh, man who said, well, pastor, I think I knew death longer than all the rest of those. Let me tell you a little something about death. I had been in the grave four days and Jesus approached my tomb and Jesus asked the people to take away the stone. And then Jesus called me by name while I was chilling in heaven by the crystal sea. I heard him say my name. My name happens to be Lazarus. I was sitting there, just sitting there, chilling in heaven. And I, I was talking to Obadiah and Malachi. And I told him, hush. Somebody is calling my name. And my spirit jumped back in my body. But it was still wrapped up in grave clothes. And, and people helped me out of my grave clothes. And I, I lived. I knew death. But I only knew death for four days. Oh, but then there's this other person who knew death and wants to tell you about death as I close his obituary. And he says to us that I met death some years ago. Uh, the Jews, my own people, brought many charges against me, which they were not able to convict me of because they had no evidence. And one of the things they accused me of was that I said that the Sabbath day should not be a day of leisure and that I worked on the Sabbath day. Uh, they were upset because I performed many miracles and many cures on that day. I made the blind man receive his sight. I made the lame man to walk. And I raised up dead folk. I cleansed lepers and I healed paralytics that were not able to make any movement in their body or to keep their nerves steady, but who only had speech and the modulation of their voice. But I gave them the power to walk.